Hey guys and welcome to another video of Unlock Panda. Today I will be doing a short tutorial on how to unlock any CTE smartphone out there, no matter which GSM carrier your phone belongs to. So, uh, so you can use it with any GSM carrier and switch between your original provider. Okay, so uh, let's begin. The first thing you have to do is find out your phone's IMEI number. Uh, you have to do this in your dial screen, dial star hash zero six hash. A 15 digit number will pop up on your screen. Make sure you write down this number as we will need it in the following step. Okay, now you have to go to your internet browser and go to the webpage on lockpanda.com. In here, it will ask you for some information about your phone. So the carrier is the original provider which the phone is currently locked to. In this case, it's a phone from United States, AT&T. Then the manufacturer, as I said before, this is a tutorial for a CTE phone. Then the exact model, uh, specifically on this phone, it's a CTE CMAX 2. And then enter the IMEI number. This was the 15 digit number we found out on the previous step. Then enter the email where you wish to receive the unlock code you have the option to enter a phone number. I'm not gonna do that. And then at the bottom, you can see the price and the estimated delivery time. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on lock. On the following page, you can see a short summary of your order. Make sure that everything is correct. If it looks good, you can go to the bottom part and we're gonna proceed with the payment. I'm gonna do it with a PayPal, which is a very secure method. So unfortunately guys, this is not a free process but uh, believe me it is totally worth it so let's just enter the account details from my PayPal account and then after you're done with the payment you're gonna be receiving an email just like this depending on the estimated delivery time the email contains detailed instructions as well as the unlock code so let's follow the instructions we're gonna have to go back to our phone make sure that the phone is turned off and we're gonna have to take the lead here off and now we have to remove the original sim so in this case you can put any sim except one from the original provider you cannot put one from uh, AT&T so we remove the AT&T sim and we're gonna put one from another uh, GSM carrier so now we're gonna restart the phone let's give it a couple of seconds and it should ask me automatically for the unlock code which was on the email that you received from unlock panda let's go in there you go, it's asking me to insert the unlock code. So let's go ahead and enter the code without any errors. Um, the phone will give you several attempts, but uh, if you're sure that you're entering the unlock code correctly and you're still getting an error message, uh, please contact support Panda before you run out of trials. So let's enter here the correct code. And after we're done, we have to press the OK key. And I think we should be fine. Okay, let's press the OK. And there you go. As you see, successfully unlocked. Now your phone is completely factory unlocked. You are free to use it with any GSM carrier worldwide. I hope the video was useful and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.